Are you feeling a bit off lately? Maybe a nagging cough or a persistent headache you just can't shake? Believe it or not, these mild, everyday symptoms could be the subtle warning signs of something far more serious. Walking pneumonia. Unlike typical pneumonia, this sneaky form often hides behind symptoms so mild, many don't even realize they're sick. But ignoring these early warnings could risk something worse down the line. Stay with me through this video to uncover 10 critical warning signs of walking pneumonia that you should never ignore. Even if just one sounds familiar, it could be time to take action. So let's dive into what you need to know to stay safe. 1. Persistent dry cough. One of the earliest and most common signs of walking pneumonia is a dry cough that lingers longer than usual. Unlike a typical cold or seasonal cough, this one doesn't seem to go away. Research from the American Lung Association highlights that this cough may persist due to inflammation in the lungs caused by bacteria like Mycoplasma pneumoniae, which is often behind walking pneumonia. If you've noticed a cough that just won't quit, consider it a red flag. 2. Mild fever that comes and goes. A low-grade fever that fluctuates is another sign often overlooked. While walking pneumonia doesn't usually cause high fevers, a persistent mild fever is your body's way of fighting an infection, no matter how silent it may feel. Studies show that this kind of fever is a common response to bacterial infections, even in cases where symptoms aren't as severe. So if you're experiencing unusual temperature changes, pay attention. 3. Chest discomfort or mild pain. Walking pneumonia can lead to mild pain or a feeling of tightness in the chest, especially when breathing deeply. While it's less intense than typical pneumonia, studies indicate that the bacteria responsible for walking pneumonia often cause irritation in the lungs, leading to this discomfort. If this sounds like something you've been ignoring, it might be time to reconsider. 4. Unexplained fatigue. Fatigue with no clear reason, often blamed on stress or lack of sleep, could be a result of the body fighting an internal infection. Research shows that walking pneumonia can cause prolonged fatigue because the body is in a constant state of low-grade inflammation. If you're feeling unusually tired despite getting enough rest, it could be your body signaling a deeper issue. 5. Headaches that don't go away. Surprisingly, frequent headaches can be another sign of walking pneumonia. The inflammation caused by the infection can impact blood flow, leading to mild but persistent headaches. According to recent studies, these headaches can linger and often don't respond to over-the-counter medication. If headaches are an unexpected companion lately, consider it a potential symptom. 6. Sore throat. A sore throat is often mistaken for a symptom of a simple cold. But if it persists beyond the usual time frame and isn't responding to common remedies, it could be due to the bacteria from walking pneumonia. Experts from the CDC note that this symptom can occur when the infection inflames the respiratory tract, leading to a scratchy, sore feeling that just won't go away. 7. Shortness of breath. During routine tasks visual, person taking deep breaths or pausing during light physical activity, narrator. Shortness of breath is a serious sign, even if it's mild. In cases of walking pneumonia, the infection may limit lung function just enough to make regular activities like walking or climbing stairs feel more challenging. This happens because the bacteria cause inflammation in the airways, leading to restricted airflow. If you're noticing that you're easily winded, don't brush it off. 8. Chills without high fever. Unusual chills that seem to come out of nowhere are another subtle indicator. Even without a high fever, Chills can be a sign that your body is actively trying to combat a bacterial infection. Experts explain that this symptom is common with walking pneumonia due to the body's ongoing immune response. If you've experienced chills alongside any of the other symptoms mentioned, it's time to take note. 9. Ear pain or mild hearing loss. Interestingly, ear pain can accompany walking pneumonia, especially when the infection spreads to nearby areas, creating inflammation. Studies have shown that certain bacteria responsible for walking pneumonia can also cause ear-related discomfort, leading to mild pain or even a slight hearing loss. If you've had ear pain recently that doesn't seem to have a clear cause, it could be connected to respiratory health. 10. Loss of appetite. Lastly, a reduced appetite is often overlooked. 
When the body is fighting an infection, it can disrupt normal hunger signals. Research links loss of appetite with various respiratory infections, including walking pneumonia, as the body redirects energy to fight off illness. If you're eating less without any clear reason, it might be a sign that your immune system is working overtime. Walking pneumonia may seem harmless because its symptoms are often mild, but ignoring them could lead to more serious health complications. If you're experiencing even a few of these warning signs, consider consulting a healthcare professional. Remember, staying informed and attentive to your health is the first step in protecting yourself and your loved ones. Don't let these subtle symptoms go unnoticed. Stay healthy, stay aware.